Kin. She came this way. She's still alive? Not for long. Oh. Come, Kenya. We follow. She won't be far. The sooner you finish it, the sooner we eat, huh? Here she is. So, another shot, this time in the head. Quickly now. I... I... I can't. Kenya, she's in pain. This is not a killing wound. She may lay here for days, suffering, until she is finally dead from starvation. No living thing deserves this. Daniel, you're okay. You're here with us. You're back. You're safe. Where... what am I? The forest? You're at Abstergo, Daniel. You were in the Animus. I got a call from your monitors saying your brain activity went haywire. I ordered this Animus shut down immediately. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sung. I've been your physician while you've been engaged in the Animus program. You were already in when I was assigned, so we didn't get to properly meet. Well, the good news is, you don't appear to have any neurological damage, but I'm not taking any chances. You're not going back in anytime soon. You said this animus. Are there more? We've redesigned the device and expanded the project. There are other patients in my care. Other guinea pigs, you mean? I've been assured that all test subjects are cooperating voluntarily. It's been a while since you went in. Things have changed. How long has it been? Just over a year. It's 2002. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. There's something you should see. It feels weird to be back in the real world. It's like, like I've woken up in my house and everyone's rearranged everything while I was sleeping. It's familiar, but strange. For the last 14 months, you've been experiencing the genetic memory of your grandfather and Okenti Orlov in uninterrupted real time. You saw, felt, touched, and heard everything that he did. As far as your brain is concerned, you were him. It's natural that you feel a bit disassociated. Why is everyone looking at me? Daniel, you killed the leader of the Order of Assassins. They're fragmented, falling apart. Soon, we will win the war. You're a hero. A hero? Ah, here we are. Daniel Cross, welcome to your new home. I understand that it was a happier life for you in the Animus. Dr. Vidic requested that you be allowed to remain in it for as long as you wanted, as a reward for your service. The only reason I ever agreed was that I was sympathetic to the traumas you've suffered. But I can't gamble with your health any longer. You need to be out here, living your own life, not hooked up to a machine. Hopefully, this helps make the transition easier. Sure. For dinner? I'm your doctor, Daniel, not your girlfriend. Have a good evening. I could definitely get used to this. Ah! Shit! <laughs> <laughs>